Why does Dr. Chan's GCSE total recall system feel like you're cheating? Well, imagine your child going into the exams and it's like having notes on the table, except instead they've stored them into compartments in their brain. That's how I use Dr. Chan's GCSE total recall system to learn boring lists of information. So let's just give you a quick demonstration. I'm going to quickly show you how to st remember and store uh, the first 12 countries to join the European Union. And I'm going to do it by putting prompts or clues in rooms of each room of my house. So I'm going to do it really quickly for you. So in the first room, I've got a giant bell and that's to remind me there's Belgium. I walk into the next room and there's some bacon sizzling. That's to remind me that Denmark is the next one to join. I go into the next room and there's a yellow Eiffel Tower with uh, yellow spots on it. That's to remind me that France was the next one. In the next room, I've got my mother-in-law who's German, but I mean, you could put somebody like Steffi Graf or anybody that makes you think of Germany in the next room. Then we come out into the landing or the hallway in my room and on there, I've got a Grease CD, you know, the musical Grease, and that's to remind me that Grease was the next one to join. I walk into the next room and there's Terry Wogan sat there and that's to remind me that it, uh, Ireland was the next one to join. But I mean, you could have the Westlife group or anyone that makes you think of Ireland. I go into the next room and in there's Gino De Campo eating a, an ice cream and that's to remind me that Italy joined next. Then I go walk into the next room and there's the crackling of Radio Luxembourg on there. That's to remind me that the next one to join was Luxembourg. I go into the next room and then there's two people, it could be celebrities if you want, they're playing tennis, but I'm remembering the big net in the middle, that's to remind me there's Netherlands. I then walk into the kitchen and on there is a big huge glass of port, it's very expensive port, it costs £45 and that's to remind me the Portugal join next. And then in the next room, just to show you how long ago I learned this memory te technique, there's Tony Blair who was the Prime Minister at this time and he's actually waving a red flag and there's a bull charging through and that's to remind me the UK and Spain were the last ones to join. That's how quickly I've learned the 12 first countries to join the EU and how I've remembered them. I don't know how many years ago I learned that and I just remember it from putting prompts in rooms and creating this little story from it. Um, Dr. Chan's GCSE Total Recall System book shares similar memory techniques to this, but he actually shares three different techniques. He also shows you a cool hack on how to remember uh, the playing cards, a pack of playing cards using similar memory tricks. Now, at the moment, at the time of making this video, he's also offering a bonus whereby you can actually have his past GCSE maths in four weeks guide as well, which is actually 32 lessons of everything you need to help your child with the maths GCSE from foundation right up to higher here and how I used this was to actually divide the 32 lessons into four weeks so that was I knew how to get through eight lessons a week which is easy to do over seven days or over four days however many days I've actually made videos on how to use the past math GCSE that you can find in my playlist as well but meanwhile if you'd like to order this um, Dr Chan's GCSE taught recall systems use memory hacks like this to make GCSE revision easier for your child along with the past math GCSE in four weeks it's, he's actually offering it at the moment for twenty nine ninety five plus VAT and postage. Now, bear in mind, the past GCSE maths product alone was over £30 when I first bought it, so it's a real bargain. And there is a 30-day money-back guarantee as well. So I'll pop my link in the comments. It's also in the bio. So feel free to click on the link, but just be aware that if you click on my link, there is a chance I could get paid a small commission from the product owner. But you won't pay any more. It'll cost you exactly the same as if you hadn't clicked my link. It'll just take you to the link quicker. Um, and that's all for today. And if you just want to subscribe to my channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe so you can follow me for more parenting tips on how to cope with children with anxiety and for some revision tips.